Hey everybody, this is the 20 gallon angelfish tank I keep for my wife. And today we are going to do a chemi-clean treatment on it, or I should say we're going to start a chemi-clean treatment on it. So it's not going to be anything too exciting, but I do want to sit here and have a little chat about the tank and get a good long look at it uh, before we get started on the treatment. And I am going to talk a little bit about the treatment uh, as we get started on it again, the actual treatment is going to be just me pouring some water into the tank It's not going to be that big of a deal visually So the first thing I want to point out is you can probably already see all that crud and growth and all over everything uh, This tank is not dirty in the sense that the fish or in any kind of unhealthy environment or anything like that The water is fine. It just looks nasty you know it just looks very unsightly but the fish are fine the fish are in perfectly clean water and everything is going just swimmingly um i just want to get rid of all that crud and growth and everything and i wanted to point out that the crud and everything in this tank is not necessarily cyanobacteria like if we look on that leaf right there that is dead center in your screen you can see how that almost looks like detritus or dirt or something that's settled on the leaf it's not it's you know it's off walks and growth and everything but it's not cyanobacteria if we look at some of these leaves that have that complete sheeting type effect growing on them uh, if you look at them closely enough especially this one right here you can see right up along this top edge it very clearly is a sheet of that green cyanobacteria growing on that so this tank does have some cyanobacteria in it and if left alone for long enough i guess it would start to cover over a lot more um surface in the tank but a lot of what's in this tank is just that grungy gross off walks looking stuff that never really gets cleaned off there's no fish in this tank that serves as a feeder fish i did put a few nearite snails in here uh, I think one of them has died. I've seen it in the back of the tank lying on its back a few times now. I keep turning it over, but every time I come in, it's on its back again. I just turned it over this afternoon, and you can see it's still sitting back there in the exact same position uh, I set it in. So I don't think that one's alive anymore. This one over here is definitely still alive. And in theory, there's a third one in there somewhere. That is my little Corydoras swimming. It's one of my few fish that actually has a name. That's my oldest fish right there. And I guess she's probably seven or eight now. But she is my oldest living fish at the moment. So anyway, what we're doing with this ChemiClean treatment tonight is we're going to get started on it simply by adding the ChemiClean to the tank. You put one scoop for every 10 gallons and that is the scoop it is a tiny tiny little scoop you do not need to use much of this stuff at all and then this is the bottle and i actually uh buy the larger size bottle this treats like 900 gallons or something like that uh if you use all of it in one uh treatment i of course do not i just get it like that and then i always have some on hand because i use this stuff fairly regularly so all you do is one little scoop for every 10 gallons of water you mix it in with some tank water and you wind up with that again no real you know nothing to look at it's not going to change colors or do anything fancy when it goes in the tank there's not going to be any bubbles or anything happening um it just goes into the tank and then that's it so after about 48 hours we'll be back in here and this tank is so grungy and gross that I'm definitely going to do a double um, treatment on this. We're going to do 48 hours. I'll come back in, probably do a partial water change, you know, 10% uh, water change, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe even pull five whole gallons out of there, something like that, 25% water change. And then we will do a second treatment. And by then, all of that grunge should be starting to get out of there. So I will get some video um you know just sort of like before type clips and i'll hang on to that and when we're all done back side of this treatment uh, i can put a video together where we can see the direct contrast between what we started with and uh, how it ends up so that's about it i do have one other thing i want to talk about with this tank but we're not going to get into that in this particular video but we are going to talk about the pineapple sword tail that is in this tank because i just had an unusual experience with it not long ago while i was combating my i'm still calling it ick 
even though I've had a few people suggest that whatever I was dealing with in my quarantine tank downstairs was not ick and something else, uh, I'm still considering it ick. But this fish in here actually had something going on similar at the same time, and I really don't know what to make of it, and I'm not going to get into talking about it at the moment because it's going to be a bit more of a discussion as I try to figure out and work through what was actually going on with that fish. But it's fine now. I got it through whatever it was going through. It's completely fully recovered. Uh, I was actually waiting to start this treatment until I was sure that that fish was fully recovered and out of the woods. And it certainly seems to be. This is about the fifth day now in a row that I've come in here and it looks just fine. I haven't been treating it for the last several days and it's still swimming around just fine. So whatever was going on with it, um, you know, the ick X treatment that I was using on it did help clear it up. But again, it was just weird symptoms and odd the way it happened and everything. So we'll be talking about that in a separate video altogether. Uh, this video, I just wanted to really kind of get started on getting that ick treatment. I mean, the uh, chemi clean treatment started. I got ick on the brain now after dealing with it in so many uh, situations for so long now. I can't stop thinking about whatever that weird strain or whatever it was going on down there was. Anyway, like I said, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. And, of course, you don't want to miss the progress uh, that we have on this tank over the next few days. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss that or anything else. So thanks for watching. Don't forget this one here is my wife's tank. And I will see you real soon in the next one.